And I think that that notion of participation in, in education is important for kind of two main reasons. First of all, it is, I think it's ethical. I think it's an ethically important thing to do. But secondly, I think it also helps make education more effective. So I think there's a practical and a kind of moral purpose that drives the justification for, um, for democratic practice. So regard, for example, with regards to making education more effective, there is so much research out there on the idea that if you engage learners in the process of learning, you don't just talk at them didactically, you actually relate to them as people People, work out what's meaningful for them, ensure that the learning you're doing isn't just content that you're throwing at them, but rather that content is actually shaped according to who they are, what their needs are, what their interests are, that that learning will be so much more meaningful and effective for that person. You know, we can think about active learning or all kind of research around these kinds of phrases. And it's quite definitive that when it, as long as it's done well, it can be absolutely transformative for young people in terms of their experience of learning. I think that when it comes to that idea of participatory pedagogy, you know, engaging young people in the process of learning. So, you know, everything from ensuring that it's rooted in dialogue um, to young people and children actually contributing content, you know, ideas for learning, structuring the curriculum together. That's important not only because it helps support their intrinsic motivation in terms of their education, helps them retain concepts more effectively, helps them to feel motivated in general with regards to their learning journey. It's also important because they actually have something important to offer to the learning process. So this idea that there's an expert, and we get this a lot in higher education, where obviously the people teaching have often got you know, PhDs, they've spent years developing expertise around a particular subject. Yeah, of course, they have a lot of expertise. And the idea that they shouldn't say anything and they should just step back and not say anything in a room isn't very helpful because a lot of my students come to our programme to learn from people who they think have important things to say. But for me, that's never been incompatible with the idea that students also have important things to say.